Hi guys, welcome back. I am super excited for this month's reading vlog. Um, it's a little different. So for this month's reading vlog, my boyfriend is going to be choosing the books I read and I'm so, so excited for this. I have no idea what he's going to pick and I'm super excited to see what he picks. I have, an, I, I have a feeling it's going to be like fantasy type books. So that'll kind of get me into my reading more fantasy. So I'm really excited to see the books he's going to pick when I go to him picking them, um, which will be in the next clip, I am going to have show you guys him picking it out and all that stuff, and then I'm going to have him say like what he thinks I'm going to rate it. So I'm so, so excited to see the books he's going to pick. There are a few that I've told him that he, like he's not going to be able to pick from because they're like seconds in a series or a series that I can't start because I have to read another series if that makes any sense and we will see how this goes so I'm going to now go to the clip of him picking my reads okay guys my boyfriend's here but he doesn't want to be in it so no say hi hi pick me out my first book that you want me to of course I knew he was gonna pick this first book he picked is the hunger games what do you think I'm gonna rate it one out of five and it can be like points four just four not like four point something Okay, he thinks I'm gonna rate it a four. Okay, pick out my, my second. Your second book. You just said you didn't know. <laughs> oh, and we got the dog helping out. Oh. This one. Oh. <laughs> and he picked out Powerless. Okay, what do you think I'm gonna rate this? Two. A two? You have high hopes for this. <laughs> okay, so you picked The Hunger Games. And Powerless. I actually really wanted to read this. So thanks. Mm -hmm. And you don't have high hopes for Powerless. No. I don't know why. I just don't. You seriously don't think I'm going to get it higher than a do? Okay, he's bumping it up to a three. And you think this is going to be a four? four. I think it's going to be the other way around. But we'll see. Hi guys, I did just want to come on here really quickly and say I am going to be starting the Hunger Games today. Um, as you guys saw... My boyfriend picked out my reads for this reading vlog, and the first book he chose was The Hunger Games. Um, I'm really excited to start this and see if I'm going to like this series. I feel like I'm the last person to have read this. Um, I didn't read this when I was like younger, so I am excited to pick this up. Um, I am going to read it on my Kindle, though, I think, because I'm pretty sure it is on Kindle Unlimited. But, yeah, it is a shorter read, so let's get into this. I am actually... Just coming on here to tell you guys that I'm starting the book. Um, I am actually going to go downstairs and hang out with my parents for a little bit. Um, and then maybe come on again tonight and give you guys some updates. Um, so you guys won't be seeing me read right now, but you guys eventually will. But yeah, I'm very excited to see how I think I'm going to like this series and see if I continue it. But yeah. Hi guys, um, I did want to come on and g give you guys an update on where I'm at in the Hunger Games. I know previously I said that I was um, starting it and I never did come on here and give any updates. I never have showed me reading um, and I feel tremendously bad for that. Um, I feel like I'm failing at this um, reading video. Um, I am leaving soon. <laughs> And I have a feeling I'm going to get so much further into it, maybe even finish it. So, I'm really sorry that I haven't filmed me reading it. I honestly, I haven't been reading it. I've actually listened, up until this point, I have actually listened to the audiobook. And I've listened to it at work um, for one day. One day of listening to the audiobook has knocked off a huge chunk of the book. So, I'm currently on chapter 14. Um, page 185 like this is a shorter version um I don't want to say I'm I'm not gonna say I hate it it's not that I'm not liking it and I'm not disliking it I definitely feel like I would like the movies a hundred percent better I feel like I need to watch the movies instead of reading the books but I think I am I like just want to be able to watch the movies and read these to see how much they are similar and my boyfriend pointed out to me yesterday he was like you know if you watch 
the movie, you're going to want to read the books because you're going to want to see if they align. And he's not wrong. So I feel like even if I don't like this, maybe I need to continue the series. Maybe this is just setting up and it gets better. I don't know. I feel like I would like the movies a lot better. It's not bad by any means. Um, it's just not a favorite. It has helped being able to listen to the audiobook and get through books quicker. Um, I'm not saying like I want to get through my books like this, but when I'm on a time schedule, it has definitely been able to help to listen to audiobooks while I'm at work. Plus, I really enjoy it in that way. I don't have to like wait until I get home to continue reading a book if I'm like really invested in it. But like I said, I am going to continue this. It's not like a book that I want to DNF. Um, I do want to see it through. Um, so yeah. So basically this book takes place in a world called Panem. And Panem is um, surrounded by 12 obeying districts. And the capital keeps them in line by making each district choose one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18 to participate in the Hunger Games um, on live TV. Um, this is all set on the back of the book, so it's not spoiling or anything. And basically, 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen um, takes her sister's place because her sister gets chosen as the girl for their district. And Katniss did not like that, so she um, took her sister's place, basically. Um, again, this is all set on the back. So without meaning to, she is now... Um, became a contender and has to compete in the Hunger Games. So basically, it just follows Katniss and her journey in the Hunger Games and like her survival and all that kind of stuff. So like I said, I'm not disliking it, but I'm also not like, it's not my favorite. Um, I told my boyfriend that I think I would like the movies better than the books, but I kind of do want to see through with the books. There's only like three, four maybe, I don't remember but yeah like i said i'm on chapter 14 page 185 um i am leaving soon i don't think i'm going to be able to read right now um and if i do <laughs> read while i'm at my boyfriend's house i do apologize for not like sitting here and showing me reading i'm feel so bad for that um but the next book i definitely will for you guys i will sit here and like get some footage of me reading but this book has just been really short and I've been listening to it on audiobook. So, yeah. I haven't really been home to sit here and read and, like, film for you guys while I'm reading. So, like I said, I am tremendously, tremendously sorry about that. But, like I said, again, not hating it, not loving it. Um, I'm not sure how far I am into it. I'm not sure if I'm, like, 50% of the way through. Let's see. Let's go to Goodreads and put it in. Um page did I say oh okay 185 um on goodreads it says I'm 49% of the way through so getting through chapter 14 will probably put me halfway through which in the book looks pretty halfway through if I would say so myself but anyway I will come back with updates or come back when I'm done I don't know I seriously feel so so bad not sitting here in filming me reading and all that stuff like I have done in the other ones my other reading videos but I promise with the next book in this video I will I just have been listening to this on audiobook so I haven't really been home to sit here and um read so because I did start this on February 1st which was a Friday which was yesterday so I apologize I'm so so sorry but anyways I will come back with updates or when I'm completely done with the book.
guys, I wanted to come on and say that I finished the Hunger Games. Um, so, let's talk about it. Um, one, I want to apologize for not filming me reading this as much because I listened to my, I listened to the whole book on audiobook, um, and the majority of it was listened to at work. So, yeah, but I'm hoping with the next book in this video, it's better, so I apologize. But anyways, um, so about this, uh, excuse that. <laughs> anyway, so about this, um, I did not hate it and I didn't like it at the same time. So I didn't like, I don't know how to explain this, um, how to explain my feelings. So I didn't hate it and I didn't like not enjoy it. But it wasn't my favorite. Like I said earlier in this video, I think I will enjoy the movies better. But I probably will have to read the other books in this series. But but like I said, I will probably enjoy the movies so much more. So I gave this book a three and a half stars. Um, when you guys watched the part where my boyfriend picked them out, I think he said he thought I was going to give it a four. So very close but um i don't know the ending of this book definitely helped the rating like i was sitting more at like a three but the ending of it definitely helped that half rating um but yeah um i already kind of explained what this is about um but yeah like i said didn't hate it but also wasn't like my favorite and I'm not gonna be in a rush to like read the rest of the series I don't think um I think they're all on Kindle Unlimited though so I will eventually I will probably get them on Kindle Unlimited if I do eventually want to read them but I'm also like I said not gonna be in a huge rush to go and read them but yeah it wasn't not enjoyable like I it wasn't to the point where I felt like I needed to DNF it um like, I, it was definitely keeping my attention, but also, at the same time, I wasn't, like, super connected to it. I don't know. But that is how I am feeling, and that is what I read this book. I'm so sorry. I think there's, like, one clip of me reading, so I apologize. But the next book my boyfriend picked out for this video was Powerless by... Lauren Roberts. I'm actually so excited for this. I'm hoping to get more um, of f more footage of me reading this, but I probably will still listen to the audiobook like when I like go to film um, me reading. I will probably have the audiobook in the background. I mean, you guys won't be able to hear that because I put music over it anyways, but I will probably put the audiobook in it because I just, I feel like I understand fantasy a little more when I have someone else like reading it, but I also like to follow along so I know where I'm at in the book. And I definitely want to do that with this one because, I don't know, I feel like this is going to be a good rating and I just have a strong feeling I'm going to really enjoy this and there may be some annotating that needs to go on like tabbing that needs to go on because i tabbed my akatar book so definitely excited for this one um but like i said i will probably like um play the audiobook as i'm like reading it so that way i can follow along in the book and with the audiobook um i'm not exactly sure what this is about um like I said, I'm horrible at explaining what things are about. Basically, this just says the elites have possessed powers for decades, gifted to them by the plague. While those born ordinary are just that, banished from the kingdom of Ilya and shunned from society. No one knows this better than Peyton Gray, an ordinary posing as a psychic to blend in with the elites. But when she unwittingly saves one of the Ilya's princes, Kai Azer, She's thrown into the purging trials, a brutal competition showcasing the elite's powers. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's finding feelings for will, if he discovers what Peyton is, completely ordinary. So that is like what the synopsis says. So 
I guess we'll find out. I will definitely be able to give you guys like better um, explanations about this book once I start it and once I get more into it. But I know the audiobook is like 17 hours and like 30 minutes, I think. Um, so I definitely am going to listen to the audiobook and I'm going to, like I said, follow along in the book with it. Um, I don't know. I feel like I have definitely understood fantasy a lot more by listening to the audiobooks along with like reading it myself. And then when I go to work, I can't like follow along because I'm obviously working, but I still understand it. So I feel like that has definitely helped. Um, and I don't know, I've just been in my audiobooks lately and it helps me read because like, I feel like when I'm at work and I'm like needing to get books done and I'm like, sometimes I'm like really want to get home so that I can read because there's like so many good reads that I'm reading lately so being able to listen to the audiobook has definitely helped so that way I don't have to wait till I get home to read the physical copy um but yeah especially since a lot of the books that I have put on my TBR for the past few months have been thick books it has definitely helped to listen to the audiobooks with it um but yeah super excited to start this my boyfriend thought this was gonna be like a three stars and i have a feeling it's gonna be way higher than that but we will see we're gonna go read this and i will give you guys updates along the way hi guys i'm getting ready to leave for the weekend so i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to talk to you guys or film but i just wanted to give you an update on powerless i'm on chapter 34 page 287 it's about this much and I have this much left. Um, I'm actually really, really, really enjoying this um, better than I thought. I have tabbed and I plan on tabbing some of the other chapters um, as well, but I've been listening to it at work. So I haven't been able to like follow along with it. So I like saved the chapters that I want to tab so that I can tab them later on. Um, but yes. I have enjoyed this book so far. I'm loving it. Um, so, yeah, I apologize. I haven't been able that I haven't been like filming me reading. I don't think I filmed me reading at all for this book. So I apologize. Um, I think I'll film some on my car ride or whatever. Um, so yeah, I've been listening to the audiobook. I'm actually almost finished with chapter 34. But I don't know how far that is into the book, so yeah. Um, but I've absolutely been loving this. I'm hoping I can film a little bit for you guys on my car ride there of me reading because of the seating situation. I'll probably be able to film, so yeah. So this is basically about Peyton, and she saves one of the elites and then is put into the trials, and um she is an ordinary so basically ordinaries are not allowed to be living in the world with the elites um and they don't know that she's an ordinary based off of the things that she's been telling them um so yeah and i have loved the banter between her and kai and all the other characters um and it's just been very interesting i am obsessed with kai um and it's just very interesting seeing it all play out and I am, like I said, obsessed with Kai. Like, a lot of these tabs are things that, in, that are like in his chapters um, because that's just, he's just amazing. Um, but yeah, that's as far as I've gone into it. Um, she's basically put into the trials and all that stuff and she's... It's just kind of like going about her day-to-day -day life of trying to not get caught and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I have this much left and I will figure out what happens. Hopefully it doesn't leave off in a cliffhanger because I know there's a novella, but I don't know if it's out yet. I think it might be. I don't know. It may come out next month. I don't remember. And then I know there's a second book to it and that I know has not come out yet. So I'm scared to see how this is gonna end but nonetheless super excited hopefully i can film for you guys in the car so yeah um i just wanted to come 
on here and update with Powerless. I am chapter 63. I have this much left. I think it's like an hour, if that, um, left. So I've been listening to the audiobook, so I haven't really been able to film me reading like I did with The Hunger Games. Um, I've been listening to it at work. So I am so sorry that I haven't filmed me reading, but I think I'm going to film um, the last little bit here so that I have some footage of me reading this, but I'm absolutely loving this. Um, like I said previously in the video, what it was about and stuff like that, I'm loving Kai, I'm loving Peyton, I'm loving the whole thing. Um, I'm not sure what I'm sitting out of rating quite yet. Um, I just kind of want to get to the end of the book and then see. Um, I know it's high. I know that for a fact. Um, four and above. I know that. Um, but I'm absolutely loving it. I've been tabbing and everything. But like I said, absolutely loving this book. And I already know I'm going to need the next book. But absolutely loving this, like I said. So I'm going to go and finish it. And I will film a little bit for you guys. So... Yes, highly recommend this book, but let's go and finish this book.
guys, I just want to come on here and wrap this reading vlog up. I do want to apologize for not filming me as much reading as I did in the first two reading vlogs. Um, I have really been loving my audiobooks this month. It has helped me get through the books a little quicker and not only that but like I don't like waiting till I get home to read so I've been listening to it at work as well and I just have really been listening to the audiobook and then I follow along in the book when I'm like at home or this past weekend I went to Tennessee so I was able to um follow along in the book there so I just want to apologize for not filming me reading as much. I know I got a few clips of me reading The Hunger Games and a few clips or whatever of me reading um, Powerless. But I just want to come on here and give you guys a little final update um, and apologize again. I'm hoping next month's reading vlog is better. Um, I just never really sat here and read and listen to like even if I sit here and listen to the audiobook and film for you guys and like have the book open or whatever that's okay I'm not saying like I don't want to like listen to the audiobook while I'm at home I just want to be able to film for you guys and I just didn't do that um because I mainly listened to it when I was at home because I was able to do that so I do want to apologize. Next month I still will probably most likely listen to the audiobooks and then like when I'm at home follow along in the book while I'm listening to it but I need to film that for you guys. So I apologize but I did just want to come on here and say that I finished Powerless by Lauren Roberts which was the second book my boyfriend picked out for this video. Um I finished it yesterday night. Um I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I absolutely ate this up. Loved it. Loved Peyton. Loved Kai. Just loved the whole aspect. It definitely kept me on my toes. And like it was just all around fantastic. Um, I ended up giving this book a five stars. I sat on it for a minute because I was like I don't know if I want to give it like a 4.75 or whatnot and then I started reading through some of like the tabs that I have in here and I was like okay obviously I tab this for a reason and I cannot stop thinking about it and I need the next book immediately um so like I'm not gonna like let that hold anything against it so I gave it a five star my boyfriend I think predicted it to be a three star so definitely higher than what he thought it was gonna be but like I said absolutely loved this it kept me on my toes I was invested in the story I was invested in the characters and I'm so glad that I was able to enjoy not only the plot but also the characters because I know in like what was it last month's reading vlog um when I read the fine print um I wasn't really connected to the characters as much as I was the plot and I am so glad to be able to say that I was able to enjoy the plot and the characters I freaking love Kai I'm so excited for the next book I know there's like a little novella in between I'm not exactly sure when that comes out but I loved this book I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that but I absolutely enjoyed this I would a hundred percent recommend the audiobook I listened to was so good I really was able to like vision everything um I it has definitely helped like I said multiple times to listen to the audiobooks with fantasy especially because I feel like I understand it a whole lot better but I love this I loved Kai I loved Peyton I loved the whole whole thing so it's kind of like the hunger games in a way so if you guys like the hunger games i would 100 percent recommend this um now i um the hunger games was actually the first book of this video and i gave that a 3.5 i think um and that was i was not a huge fan of that so when i like learned that this was kind of like the hunger games i was like oh i really don't think i'm going to like this as much but i love this so much more than the hunger games this just definitely kept me on my toes 
way more I feel like than the Hunger Games did. The Hunger Games wasn't bad and I didn't dislike it but it also wasn't like my favorite book ever. Um, but like I said this they're they're sort of similar in a way like the Hunger Games has the Hunger Games trials and this has trials as well. So it's the similar aspect but I just loved the tension and the characters in this so much more I feel like I don't know I kind of looking at it looking back at it and they are pretty similar but I just love this book so so much so if you didn't like the Hunger Games I would still recommend reading this because obviously they're different and there are different characters and stuff like that so I wouldn't say if you didn't like the Hunger Games don't read this because they're different um and I would 100% recommend reading this even if you did not like the Hunger Games but love 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 like I said I don't have the book with me it's I forgot to grab it but like I said I read the Hunger Games first in this video and I think my boyfriend said I was going to give it a four and I gave it a three and a half um I just wasn't really connecting to it I think the next book might be a little better but also I like I said in the beginning I think I would like the movies a lot better and then of course what we just talked about I read Powerless by Lauren Roberts and gave it a five stars and my boyfriend thought I was going to give it like a three he started out with a two and then he bumped it up to a three but absolutely loved this um will forever look at my my tabs because I love them um like I said a million times a hundred percent would recommend this book so that is all for this reading vlog so, like I said I apologize and I hope next month is 10 times better um I just kind of got in my head when I was listening to the audiobooks and completely forgot to film so like I said I apologize for that and I hope next month is much better even though I do plan on still listening to the audiobooks of the books that I plan on putting in next month's video but I'm hoping to actually be able to sit down and film for you guys but that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this month's reading vlog I really enjoyed having my boyfriend pick out my books and I will see you guys when I see you